how to create wix banner hey everyone and welcome we hope you're all doing great in this video i'll show you step by step how to create a banner for your wix website and how to actually apply it now this is going to be for the default wix not wix studio so first you just open up your site editor by clicking on edit site from the home page and this should open up the site editor for you and then from here we can just simply add the banner now i'm, I'm about to show you how the site already looks like and what i'm about to actually do and then i'm just going to show you how i'm going to create my banner and hopefully you're going to have uh you know find this to be helpful and you can try to do the same thing now this is pretty much how the site already looks like so we have this video background for the entire site and it's going to be within the um the site design options here you can actually see we have the page background to be this video so we wanted to add a banner here at the header section and we want it to be a little bit different so generally speaking this is more like grayish blue and i'm just going to try and make that close as possible i'm really bad at designing i'm just going to show you the process and then obviously try to do the best here so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to click on the new browser tab and what i'm going to use is canva.com this is going to be one of the free options out there that is going to help you with pretty much designing anything that you actually want and it is going to be completely for free if you have not used canva already so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and open up canva.com if you don't have an account create one for free like i said you can use it completely for free there are some elements that you can use with pro but they're not detrimental you can use it still for free now once you're on this page what i'm going to do is actually go ahead and click on create a design on the top left corner and then i'm just going to click on more and then from more i just want to go ahead and click on the search bar and uh, search up banner not specifically wix banner just want to search for banner and then you have all of these different sizes that you can actually use for different banners now you can actually go ahead and increase the size for this just keep this in mind because at the same time it really depends on how you actually want it to look like whether you want it to be more narrow or wide is up to you so all of these are going to actually affect or affect the size you actually want to go with when it comes to your canva design but i'm just going to go with the more narrow side maybe not too narrow just you know this should be good and i'm just going to go back to canva and try to see whether this is going to work well with it or not i think this one should be fine so I'm just going to use this one. And again, you can play around with them, see which one is going to suit you better. But I'm just going to go with this one, which is, uh, uh, I forgot the actual number to be honest, but I'm just going to use it anyway. Okay, so stage two of the process is going to be the actual designing aspect of things. Now, designing with Canva is very simple. You can either use designs from Canva itself and you can just search for specifics uh, through the design a tab from the left dashboard here you can just click on design or hover over it and search for specifics if you want to you can even click on the styles if you want and it's going to also show you more things that you can add if you don't want that and you actually go ahead uh you actually sorry you want to add your own background you can just go to uploads click on upload files and upload your own background uh, and then just go ahead and use it so either way I'm just going to go for this one, for example. You simply just want to drag and drop it. Whether you have uploaded it yourself or you used it from design, it's going to be the same process. So just drag and drop it on the middle of the page or just on the page itself, the canvas. And then you simply just right click and click on set image as background. And it's just going to take place like that. Next up, if you want to add, go, if you want to add more elements to it, to give it some shape, you can just go to elements here on the left side. And it's going to also, again, show you plenty of things that you can find. So you have um, graphics, shapes, all sorts of stuff. And you have the search bar here at the top if you want to use it. Uh, I'm not really going to do anything with this. I don't really need to, but you can feel free to take your time with it. Add whatever you want to add and you are good to go. Next up, if you want to add some text, you can just, again, just hover over text and add a uh, style of text, which you can obviously style even further once you actually have it. So you can just drag and drop it over here and change the text to whatever you actually want it to say. And again, change the font 
uh, font color, make it bold, italics, all sorts of stuff here. I'm going to remove the text and what I'm going to do is just upload another image and I'm just going to use this one, place it right down the middle like so and make it a little bit smaller actually just so we are guaranteeing that it is going to be shown and once we're happy with our design like i said i'm not really good with it uh, but once we're happy with this just click on share from the top right corner click on download and download it as it is as png and just click on download and you should be good to go let's just wait for this to download and then we can just go back to our wix and add that as a banner so now that it is done we can just go back to wix and now we simply just click on add elements from the left side here and just click on image once we click on image, we simply just click on upload images and simply just upload from computer, find it within the downloads or whichever file that you downloaded it to, uh, open it up by double clicking on it. Don't close out yet. You just need to actually go in and select it first. So once it actually loads in, make sure it is selected and click on add to page. It's going to add it randomly. It's not really going to be added to the top right away. It's just going to be random but try to click on it like so and once you click on it and hold it drag it to the top here where it actually att attaches to the header once it is attached to the header you can just simply go ahead and resize that like so and then what we want to do is basically just go and resize it to exactly where we want it to be now actually before resizing it uh, what you may want to do is just right click on it and click on overlap no not overlapping uh, beneath overlapping items you should be able to find a range and basically just click on send to back this way it's just going to take place as an actual background image and then you simply just try to match it with the background by holding shift and try to resize it like so if you don't hold shift however it's just going to not work just hold shift and try to move it across and same goes here for the top hold shift and move it upwards and we should have our background ready to go the only thing left for us to do is just actually change the design of our menu and we want to click on design and change the text colors here so if you just click on custom customize design click on text and change the color of the text to become darker this is going to be the uh, selected one so i'm just going to leave it as that and then we can just exit out of here and we can um, go back here and set it up. So basically, I'm not going to do the rest. You, you get the idea. You basically just want to design all the, uh, all the other elements to fit with the banner that we just added. So with that being said, this is pretty much how to create a banner for your Wix. Hopefully you found this video, video to be informative and helpful. And thanks for watching.